Hey guys, it's Phoenix Android Radios here. In this video, we're going to be looking at a quick install of the 13.6 inch radio for the Cadillac Escalade 2007 all the way to 2014. Uh, before you install it in the vehicle, when you take out your factory radio, you will have this factory AC panel and you can see we've already removed it and moved it over to the back of our radio. There are two plugs here that you can't really see, but there's a large one here and a smaller one here. And these two were actually originally on these plugs here. Now we didn't take, we did not take this board apart, but you should be able to access these plugs and kind of wiggle them out. So disconnect the two here and connect it to the back here. This is to retain the factory AC panel. And then you also have this plug that comes from our power connector. You can see we've already connected the adapter for the power the two pin, the green, two green wires at this location. And we also have a USB connected here. There's also another USB cable here, an RCA connection that we will connect here. This one will be empty. And then this one will be your factory or aftermarket backup camera. Uh, quick rundown, this is the radio antenna. You'll get an adapter to connect to here. A Wi-Fi for 2.4 gigahertz and 5G band. GPS antenna and your SIM card antenna for 4G uh, SIM cards. You can insert a SIM card through here, just slide it in here, you should feel a click. But there is also a secondary SIM card that comes from this connector here. This is what the 13.6 inch radio looks like for the Cadillac Escalade 2007 to 14. Your AC controls become touch. In this car we're installing is a 2011 Escalade Hybrid. Let's move on to the car and get to the install. When you do move the factory AC board to our radio, once connected, it, there are four screws, two on each side. So just line them up with the hole and you can find a screws to screw them in to secure them. So now that we've mounted the factory board on the back of our radio with the four screws, you can see we've made the main harness connection and when we could go through them really quick, this one is the factory or aftermarket backup camera that you connect if you have that. The clips facing downward. You have two USB cables to connect. This is the one with the double USB cable that we can show right here. Uh, these are secondary ones. And then you have the primary one, which is a four pin, but we've already routed that USB cable to the glove compartment. So we need to connect this and that goes right here. You have this connector with the two green wires, which also comes from the main connector, which is this adapter that we've connected to the main power cable here. An empty slot that we are not using, and also the RCA connector here, which also has the second SIM card slot here. So once you've confirmed that these are connected, all except for this one, we can also connect the radio antenna, GPS from the car, and the SIM antenna. The bottom AC panel is straightforward. Connect the factory plugs to the original board. But if we look at the main power connector, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five plugs. Now we're not gonna be using all five of the plugs. We'll go through each of them really quickly, but Remember to plug this connector, which is the canvas communication line, to the back of our board. So once you've confirmed these connections connected and this connector here, we'll look at the five plugs. So the first two are in the center with the thick yellow wire. This is the one for powering the radio. If your vehicle has an amplifier, use the one on the right. And to indicate the one on the right has these two cables that go to RCA FL and FR. This is for vehicles with amplifier and you're going to connect the red and white RCAs to the front out L and front out R and that comes from the RCA connector here. So our vehicle is a 2011 hybrid Cadillac Escalade and it does have an amplifier and it does have a factory backup camera. So with an amplifier we are being we'll be connecting this one. If you do not have an amplifier, connect the connector with no RCAs. So using this one, we'll put this one away. We have now four connectors left right here. This is the connector with amp. 
And because our vehicle has an amplifier and it also has a factory backup camera, this is the connector for the factory backup camera. We can follow these cables to several RCAs. We have three RCAs here that have been connected. One is the camera. If you have a factory backup camera, connect this male RCA to this female, which comes from this 10 pin earlier we mentioned. And the other two RCAs here we have are the center speaker and the subwoofer, uh, green and yellow. This is to support the center speaker here, as well as the subwoofer in the back, because we do, again, have an amplifier on this vehicle. So if you don't have an amplifier, these two RCAs are not needed. But just to show you, center speaker, we have it connected to RCA RL. And this comes from this connector up here with the two green wires. So that's the center speaker. And then the subwoofer, we'll be connecting to the green RCA labeled subwoofer. So that fixes the factory backup camera, the center speaker, the subwoofer, and the power for the radio along with the sound because we have the RCAs here. So those are the three connectors. This one not used, these two used. Set those aside, we have two left. The gray one here, we have several RCAs, which uh, if you do have a plug in the car for this, uh, this is to support the factory rear entertainment, the monitor on the ceiling. So if we look at the RCAs, we have a set of red, white, and yellow, and also another set of red, white, and yellow. This set of red, white, and yellow is labeled second row screen video. This corresponds to the rear entertainment monitor on the second row seats, which we have on the ceiling here. You need to put a video feed through here, and then you can see this on the monitor on the ceiling. Looking at the two RCAs here, rear screen audio L and R, this is the audio. So if you put a video and an audio feed through here, such as a HD TV tuner, you can see the video and audio on the monitor on the ceiling on the second row. The other sets of RCAs are labeled aux R, aux L, aux V. And if your vehicle has factory RCA jacks for video and audio, these are the outputs for them. So if you input a video feed through the RCAs on the back of the radio, which are around this area, putting a video through, putting a video feed through here will output to here. In order for this to show on the radio, we do need to connect this to the RCAs on the radio. And we can find that from the RCA plug. We have one labeled aux video in, connect this. And for the audio, we are using one of the RCAs for the OnStar, which we haven't got to, which is this last plug. Uh, there's no other space for it other than the aux in R. So you're gonna only get one set of audio source. But you can also use a splitter to split this to two so that you can connect the left side audio. So this connector is to support the rear entertainment on the ceiling, as well as the RCA ports on the factory vehicle. The last and fifth plug is for the OnStar, and we can follow these wires to a male RCA. We have one male RCA yellow labeled third row. Most vehicles uh, only have one monitor on the ceiling, but if you have a second monitor on the ceiling, this would be that video feed. And you have one RCA labeled OnStar. This is to support the factory OnStar so that when you press the OnStar, you will hear audio. And that we have it connected to aux in L, which goes to the RCA connector here. Again, you can split this to two so that you can still support the RCA jacks on the factory vehicle at the back. Lastly, you have one labeled speaker with a two pin, which is not needed for this radio. So this one can be left empty. With that said, we're gonna be connecting this one for the OnStar, this for the rear view monitor on the ceiling. And because this is a vehicle with amp, we're going to be finding the connector with amp, which is this one with the RCAs, as well as the factory backup camera, subwoofer, and center speaker. So these four plugs we will be using, and we'll also connect the factory AC panels here. Connecting the factory AC panels here, we have it labeled as 
brown, black, gray, and green. So we'll go with brown first, black, gray, then green for the air conditioning. Confirm that the needles and pins are straight if some function is not working. Also need to confirm that the two plugs here, that the needles and pins are straight, connection secure. Canvas connection made here. And with these four plugs, uh, first is the factory backup camera. The factory backup camera usually is this brown connector here. So connect the factory backup camera along with the center speaker and the subwoofer. For the power connection with the amplifier connector goes to the black one, which is the one second to the left. You will hear an audible beep, which is a good thing that there is communication between radio and car. The gray one can go to the gray one. And the black for the OnStar will go to the first one on the left. Once that's connected, you can also see we have several adapters. You'll get this in the box as well. You have a radio antenna adapter. Depending on your car, you may have a different shape to it, but if yours is like this, it'll be a needle and insert the needle into this hole here. Radio antenna will connect to the back of our radio. And this adapter here is to support the factory USB port on the vehicle. So connect the, connect the adapter here. You have a male USB. And because our radio has uh, three USB ports in total, we recommend connecting this adapter to one of the secondary ones, which is either USB 1 or USB 2. And then the primary one, as mentioned before, is this four pin connector, which we have routed in the glove compartment. So to support the factory USB port, we'll connect it to USB 1. And USB 2, we'll route outside the vehicle, maybe in the kick plate of the driver's side so that it is accessible for USB flash drives. If we open the glove compartment, this is the single USB port we have here with a four pin connector that we will connect next to the two USB port with the, with the clip facing downward. Once that's all connected, we also have the GPS and SIM card. For the GPS antenna, you will also get an adapter kind of like this, or you will also get a GPS antenna puck. Uh, you can either use the one we provide or this adapter to support from the factory antenna. Screw this on to the first one. Uh, locate the SIM card antenna in the box and screw this on to the back of the radio. Now that we've made all the connections, you can mount the radio in. And the last thing to connect is this panel. If you have a set of buttons here, these are retained. Connect the factory connector back and mount this back into the car. Don't forget to connect the car lighter as well as the cup holder connector, which is near the cup holder. <laughs> 